Now the qualifying time here is 31.45. That's the A and the B, 32. I think we're right in saying that. 31.45 and 32. So a good night for it. But they're tough times, aren't they? 31.45, the A standard, 32, the B. Well, it's no mean feat running that sort of time. We had one of our most consistent runs last year in our top five, all cracking 32.30. It was a very fast-paced fast race, which, of course, Eloise Wellings run, and she's already gone to the front at the moment to look to reciprocate that this year. Very strong field. It looks to already have started to settle itself down as Jess Trengo, Lara Tams, and Eloise Wellings and Elio Kane out there at the early stages are leading through this race quite nicely. Now to achieve that time of 31.45, 76.2. They're the lap time, 76.2, but uh, they won't be that quick in the first lap. So Kane, Willings, Tamset and Tringo. And we'll turn our attention just to the triple jump run rate quickly to introduce our competitors as the women's 10k race settles down. From Victoria, we have Ben King. Also from Victoria, Mitchell Fontaine. From Victoria, Kellen Rouchfuss. From Victoria, Alex Loraway. From New South Wales, Stephen Tripney. From Victoria, Frank Vrizabak. And from Victoria, Daniel Pagnocolo. It's Fiona Mash setting the tempo at the front of the field. She's a silver medalist at the Australian Cross Country Championships just 12 months ago. And Eloise Welling, the defending champion, looking resplendent there in the pink spikes. Just tucked in behind her on pace. Lara Tamsit in the cap, also on target to really try and firm up her credentials as one of our country's top 10,000 metre runners. It's a great back half of the season on the road, Bruce. She had the win of the city to serve the Bernie 10,000 metres and most recently the Noosa Bolt up on the Gold Coast. It's a good trio, isn't it? So she's got the hat, so Nash doing the pace making from Willings. So Willings hoping to win the race for a second consecutive year. Tams had already a winner and then Trengove who's had also a wonderful season. Great run in the World Half Marathon. Been very well at the Eckerton recently in the relay. So the pacemaker, the two favourites, and the third favourite are one, two, three, and four in the early stages of the Zatapec 10,000 for women. Yeah, the three fastest times run here are 31.26 for Susie. Hayley McGregor's 31.43. So they're the two that are inside 31.45. Carolyn Shawalo ran 31.54. Karen McCann, bless her heart, 31.55. Jenny Lund, 31.56. Krishna Wood Stanton, 32.17. And then Eloise Poppet Wellings. Eloise Wellings at 32.19. Currently, she's the 13th fastest ever Australian. Lara Tams, it's the 15th fastest ever Australian. So they are right on 32 minute pace, right on 32 minute pace after 4K. And last year, of course, they fought it out right down to the wire with Lisa Waitman, our Olympic our Commonwealth Games bronze medalist. There was a cracking race in the top three, all set times around that 32 20 mark. It was Wellings. 32-19-08, Lisa Waitman 32-20, just in a photo finish from Lara Tamsin for the third place, the bronze medal in the national title. But our leaders are doing it very nicely here and they're starting to work their way back into the top five of the athletes. They've got their sights set now on Bailey, Martin and also Kelly Palmer from New Zealand. Gives you just an idea of how fast they're going, doesn't it? I mean, they are on a very good pace here. So. Bailey is running well and Martin is just behind her and then the New Zealander Palmer about to be lapped and Wellings is really putting it to Tamsit here. Tamsit just off the back of her, a couple of metres back. She's still maintaining contact but Eloise running really strongly here. Jess Trengove is about to leave the back straight as Eloise Wellings and Lara Tamsit are about to enter the back straight. So they're closing even on the, the, the third place getter at the moment. It just shows you that the target and the determination they have at this stage down the back straight now. They're really setting their sights on this 31.45, the time for the World Championship qualifying time as we turn our attention to the halfway split. 15.58.21, Bruce. 15.58.21. So we're going well. That's uh, what's at a 31.56 split. So a 31.56 and a half split 
which would get them inside the B standard, uh, would get them both inside 32 minutes. We've only had eight women break 32 minutes in Zatapec history. A couple of them have done it more than once. So we are hopefully on for something outstanding here tonight. And Willings, you feel like she's trying to drop Tamsit here, don't you? I mean, she's really digging it in, and Tamsit's having to really try and hang on. I know we've got a long way to go, but pressure's on early in this race. We can see Aloise Wellings is just really setting herself on this task. She's, she's runner dedicated to the split, and if Tamsit is trying to go with her, then that's the, the case may be. But coming up to, uh, to about to enter the same straight as Jess Trengrove, she's about to leave the back straight. Wellings now passing through past the fourth placed athlete on the trap in Claire Garrity. And it's Lara Tam that's still second place, now moved past our fourth place athlete in Claire Garrity. So it's Eloise Wellings doing it very nicely down the back straight, and she's got her sights set on a great time. Jimmy, I think you might have our great marathon runner, Lisa Waitman, with you, Jimmy. All yours, Jimmy, if you got it. I do indeed, Bruce. We have a uh, bronze medalist from the recent Delhi Games, ladies and gents. Lisa Waitman is with me. Good evening, Lisa. Hey Jimmy, it's great to be here. Uh, Lisa, as Tom just mentioned on the uh, microphone from upstairs, uh, memories of last year with the photo finish, uh, are they flooding back here at this stage? They are, uh, the conditions are very similar. The rain even turned on right at the right time to uh, replicate the event. Uh, just a shame I'm not out there with the girls because I'd love to be out there helping them. Uh, Lisa, last year uh, the three of you were neck and neck all the way towards the end. You ended up running a 20 second BB. Just take us through those uh, last couple of laps. What will the girls be feeling like out here tonight? Uh, this is probably one of the most challenging points really. Um, hopefully they can't hear me saying that right now. But you, you're in a point now where you want to keep that pace going, particularly when the girls are chasing qualifiers and um, you know they're slightly behind that at the moment. So. Uh, you're just trying to focus on the person in front of you and, and not let that elas elastic band uh, break. But yeah, hopefully Lara can jump back on, Eloise is back and, and, and be pulled through. Tactically, uh, will Eloise be trying to pull away right now? Will she want to be running by herself or will she want Lara back with her? Oh, it's always nice to be out there in front. Uh, with all things clear, you can then feel a bit confident. So um, it looks like she's putting down the pedal and I, I think she's actually looking for that qualifier for the World Champs this year. That, that's what's probably going on in her mind at the moment. What sort of uh, time does she need for that qualifier, Lisa? Uh, I think she needs to get somewhere around 31.45 from memory. Um, I need to have a look at the, the criteria again, but it, it's something around that time. So she's certainly on pace for that tonight. Uh, probably a little bit under, but she's definitely uh, trying to reel that in now. Well, with 10 laps to go, we're going to make sure we bring these two girls home and give them the best chance of actually qualifying with that A time. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, Jimmy. So 19.10.24 for Eloise, who's now made the move. Now that's um, spot on about, well, spot on about. It's about 31.58 pace. 31.58. Seven pace, so it's inside the B qualifier, the 32 minutes. Lara Tamset is 20 metres away, uh, and then Jessica Trengove. In fact, Eloise has got a good sight now. Jessica Trengove, she's within about 50 metres of her in the back straight. So first and second can now see the third place getter. And you can appreciate last year there were top five runners. They ran a 32-20, and there were five of them working together: Nikki Chapel, Eloise Wellings, Lisa Waitman, who we just heard from before, Lara Tamset. Also Rebecca Lowe, but Eloise Wellings is content to do it herself and running with absolute staunch dedication to her time target, looking to, uh, to float under that 32 minute time target. She's, she had a good overseas season, a finalist in the Commonwealth Games, 5,000 metres. But Eloise Wellings doing it very nicely here and now she's got her sights set on Jess Trengove as they come down through nine laps remaining now. Really looking to maintain that tempo as she rolls towards that 32 minute time, the first time that she'll breach that magical barrier. So Eloise has slowed a bit, it's 28.55, so that's outside the time she needs for 32. Her best time ever is 32.19. She's the winner of this race last year. We've had six women have won this race in consecutive years. Joan Cameron, Natalie Harvey, they did it three years in a row. Megan Sloan, Sally Pearson, Susie Power and Hayley McGregor. So they're the six that have won it consecutively. Eight have won it more than once. Lisa Rondiecki, 
was one of those. And Carolyn Chiwolo. So Eloise really digging here with a couple of laps to go. Still trying to find a little bit more motivation as she works her way back through the field for the second time. She'll enter the back straight for the second to last time and look to get a little bit of a spurt from the Olympic Park crowd. That's our second place getter coming through the set start. Finish line, two laps remaining for Lara Tamsin. Jess Trengove's on a different lap, but in third place entering the home stretch now. She's halfway down the straight, but it's Eloise Welling that's continuing to move very nicely, just picking off the runners in front of her, and that's the motivation she needs to keep urging her through this race. She looks to have picked up a bit in the back straight too, Eloise here, so probably an advantage that she's now passing runners. I know that she has to go around some of them, but she's got them in her sight, and that's something she can really work out now to pick them off one after the other as she has throughout this race. So Eloise in a wonderful position here. She's got a real chance of setting a personal best, of getting very, very close to that magical 32. So that's it, get right behind her here. Just over a lap to go in the Zanapec. And last year's winner is going to be this year's winner again. You can see how much effort she's putting into this with one single lap to go. And Lara Tamps is about to enter the front straight. So Eloise now goes for it. So she needs a 60, 69 second last lap to bang on to that 32 minute pace. The question is, can she maintain it? There's a lot of lactic starting to build in the legs and she'll enter the back straight for a rousing reception for the last time. She's our leader in the women's Zatapec 10 as Lara Tamsin collects the bell with one lap remaining, but down the back straight now to Eloise Wellings. The defending champion ran 32.19 last year. Let's see what she can do in 2000 time, Bruce. And we're just about to see with 200 metres remaining. Well, it's going to be faster than last year, Tom, that is for sure. So just 200 metres remaining. Eloise really digging it in here. Flying home. It's going to be the fastest time that we've had in a Zatapec since 2003. No matter what, she stops the clock out here. So she'll become the ninth woman to win the Zatapec on more than one occasion and the seventh woman to win it in consecutive years. The clock getting up to around about 32. Eloise as fast as ever. Before tonight was 32.19. 32.19 and she's going to be just outside. No, oh, way inside of 32.08 I think it is. 32.08.31. So that's a fantastic performance. And here's Lara coming up the straight. So Eloise with a huge personal best there. And Lara's not going to be far outside her best time, which was set in this race last year. So Lara goes over in 32.31 with a bit of change. So terrific running by both first and second. Lara's a lot quicker than she was when she won this race in 32.56 two years ago. And Eloise is quicker again than she was last year. So brilliant running by first and second in the Zatapec one of Australia's most promising female distance runners, got a huge future, Jessica Trengove. So she's done a great job. She was caught in no man's land for a lot of this race. It was tough going. She's gutsed it out and she's going to finish with a very good result. So Jess Trengove's going to come down, add to her national cross country town with a bronze medal at the Zatapec 10 in the national championship race. Congratulations, Eloise, on a, another national title and another Zatapec title. How was the race? Um, yeah, I felt pretty good throughout. I felt really easy at the beginning and just trying to bide my time. And, um, you know, Melbourne's put on a perfect night again. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the result.